One of the things I just wanted to mention to everybody is last week, ECDC and EASA issued new guidelines. And it really is important that you do everything possible to work with your governments and your administrations because it's really clear what the guidelines say. Travellers should not be treated as high risk. They should be treated the same way as local residents. And our information is that this is not happening throughout Europe. So any help you can give on this will be really good. Let's look at the last week. Yesterday, flights were down 66% over the same day last year. You have to go back to the early 70s before you got this volume of flight and you have to go back to the Second World War before you got a crisis that was as tricky as the COVID one. When we look also at the status of the um, traffic scenarios that we issued, only in the middle of September we were going along and getting the traffic really well in coordination with the airlines. But what's really significant is in the last month, the situation has significantly deteriorated. You've had quarantines, lockdowns, uncoordinated measures, and we were hoping for a recovery at Christmas, and we do expect to get more flights back into the system, but I think it's going to be pretty tricky. You're not going to get anything very strong until quarter one of next year, hopefully when we roll out a vaccine. What's interesting is your guest today, Reiner, we're looking at the 737 MAX, they should be recertified for flights in Europe, we imagine, in January. And it's amazing, 210 73 MAX has been bought. And it'll be a good question to see how Michael responds to how does somebody buy new aircraft in the middle of a big downturn, or maybe it's the right time to buy them. For me, the vaccine process is really important. And the, what's happening? So for us, it's important to realise that the vaccine will actually give a little ray of light. It's going to take 15,000 flights to roll out the vaccine all over the world. But we are saying that by next summer, we should see sufficient take up to enable a reasonably progressive recovery. Interesting, and maybe it's something you could look at, is airlines such as Qantas are saying they won't allow long haul travel unless you've got a vaccination certificate. Now, remember, in the past, we had vaccination certificates for yellow fever and all of these kind of things as well. So it's not something entirely new.